got a thing. Is this Twitch safe? Raw. Oh my god! Almost a year, good luck with the game. Never a satisfactory ice pun around when you need one. Have a subpar one instead. Ice to see you. Hello, everybody. How y'all doing today? Thank you, Zealous Sparza, Zero Wag, and Spazwaza for the resubs. <laughs> That's right, Chessboardman. Actually, it's the uh, it's the nipples. Not allowed to show nipples on Twitch. Actually, the. <laughs> The guidelines are rather non-specific. Uh, they're they're sort of self-contradictory, because on the one hand it says oh my god it says no nipples. Uh, <laughs> how's it going, Lighthawk Knight? Thank you for the ten months. <laughs> yeah, it says no showing nipples, neither male nor female. But then it says that. Context is important, and you can show if you were doing a real life stream from the beach, you can wear a swimsuit. And I'm like, yo, which is it? Because I'm not about that wearing a shirt to the pool life. That's that's not what I'm about. <laughs> so I decided better safe than sorry. How y'all doing this fine day? I got an ice bath, it has ice in it. It also had me in it. Um, and I'm real bad at it. I lasted like 20 seconds, twice. Uh, I went in a third time just now, off camera. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they say like two minutes is what you want. Like two minutes is about when, when the stuff starts happening. I say the stuff. It's real, real science, real scientifical, obviously. Turn this music down just a little, coming in just a little hot. Um. <laughs> Adorkable Lee wants to know what are the benefits of an ice bath? I mean, right now, the benefit is that it is 115 degrees in Phoenix. Uh. <laughs> Um, 
It can, it, it really depends on what you're trying to get out of it. And to be honest, I'm not entirely sure what I'm trying to get out of it. It's supposed to be good for your skin. It's supposed to be good for your, your uh, like your circulation, your, uh, your um, nervous system is supposed to be good for that. Uh, people do it for like PTSD and depression. Um, yeah, so like, like people talk about seasonal depression, right? And in most parts of the country, they're talking about like, you know, the winter time when it's all overcast and you don't want to go outside. I get seasonal depression in the damn summer because I live in, <laughs> I live in the godforsaken desert. I just walked my dog a second ago and yeah, you feel like you're inside a damn oven. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Timmy G, I am, I am happy that enough people tried to get Bink up there that it showed up on the leaderboard for a hot second. I mean, yeah, it would have been it would have been amazing if it had won, but there's always next year, man. <laughs> I didn't like considering that I didn't I didn't try to do I I didn't like make a big campaign to get people to do anything and they just did it. I think that's amazing. I think that's awesome. Uh, for those who who weren't aware, yeah, at SGDQ, you know they do all the they do all the uh, the the donation things and one of the competitions was to was to try to to decide what the file name of the Majora's Mask speed run would be and uh yeah <laughs> some folks were trying to get it to be big didn't win but it showed up on that leaderboard and that made me quite happy yeah ice baths are supposed to be good for your testosterone i don't know at this point, it's it's the Calvin's dad theory of misery builds character. It's a challenge to me now, because I can... I haven't been timing myself or anything, except that I took the video, obviously, so I, I checked on the video, and I'm lasting like 20 seconds, which is not a long time. <laughs> anyway. And I'm getting into it at the right time, too, because it is ass hot in Phoenix. It is, it is ridiculously hot in Phoenix right now. Um, so it still sucks being up in it, but after you get out, it still sucks for like another five minutes while you're like re-acclimating. But then after that, it's great. Like my, I figure it's at least a break-even proposition on the power bill, right? Cause I keep it at 78 degrees in here. Um, and that had been feeling like riding that edge, like, uh, it's a little stuffy, it's a little hot. But after I get out of that ice bath, 78's like, oh, this is lovely. This is wonderful. I enjoy this. So, you know, if I do it every day and, uh, and stay in for longer, maybe I can bump that up to like 80, 82 and save on the AC bill. And maybe like break even on having, <laughs> having another major appliance plugged in. All right, guys, let's let's see what we can do here. Let's kick it over to Roop, the old LG screen here, and speaking of the LG, let me get that reset. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. Oh, I didn't have the. Hold on, hold on. Throw the, throw the crop on there so that it crops correctly. There we go. And we are doing... We are doing the metal MSU pack today because I'm feeling I just got all up into a... a freezing cold ice bath. I am feeling rather metal today. <laughs> all right, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Good stuff. Let me get my uh, let me get my timer up here. This is our MSU run. MSU run. Our wheel run. It's time to get wheel. It's time to get wheel. B I N K. 
Yeah, I was hoping... I'd been hoping... to get in on the community race. Music's feeling a little hot. I can drop it just, just a little... <laughs> All right, we got a little um I think that's a I think that's a Feeny Dargan. I think we got a Feeny Dargan there. All right. Is that music feeling feeling a little better, a little more balanced? Just dropped it down just a little bit. All right. So Regular, basic bitch, open, normal, but it's hard mode. No all dungeons, no inverted, no key sanity, nothing crazy, just a pretty straight ahead mode. Okay. Three, two, one, picky time. All right. Ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. Pardon me, friendo. I've just got to murder this boy with this sign. Let's see what a tree pull will get me today. Just hearts. Achilles Warlord, thank you for joining us, and thank you for the bitty boos. Appreciate it. Oh, we get a Valentine from Unky Boy. Go ahead and grab these and singular roop. Single roop. Just one. <laughs> Thanks, Adorkable Lee. Oh, we got a bee. We got a bee in a bottle. We do not have, so I've got, uh, I've got Zodiac Eclipse working on a free B emote. Haven't gotten it quite down quite yet. But if you look real closely at your emote options, you might see something new in there. Might be something new in there for, it's not quite July. I put it up a little early. That's right. That's right, Don Flamingo rides again! Okay. This, this boy's gonna give us, uh, eventually, magic? There we go. A fine day for science. Here's to two weeks vacation. Hashtag free the bees. Thank you, Heretica Mary. Thank you kindly. For those free the bee bits. Thank you kindly, my dude. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna murder that boy. Oh, I guess a single bush isn't enough to murder a crow. Yeah, just a, just a pizza heart there. Nothing we need to worry about. Uh, Achilles Warlord, the Team Four Star folks have not approached me about reprising my roles on DBZA. I also have no idea where they're at on that, uh, but I am willing. I am willing to reprise my roles, so that's that's up to them at this point. Ball's in their court. I know they've also also said for years that they can kind of write nail out of the show anytime they want to. Hey, we got them bams. Nice. I don't know. I forget if Dr. Briefs has much else to do at this point. To be honest, I've never... <laughs> 
I've never felt like my Dr. Brief's voice was my best, but eh, eh. Like, and, like, he's a fun character, don't get me wrong, but, like, I'm, I'm really glad that I got to finish out Helsing before, before leaving. If, like, if they were to say recast Dr. Briefs, it'd be, it'd be fine, like, whatever. I don't have any, like, big personal attachment to that character. It's it's fun to do, but I wouldn't feel bad if I didn't get to do it anymore. But... Oh. Just a little shy on roops for Bottleman there. Uh, but yeah, if, if anybody else had done Anderson, I would have... I would have felt real bad about that. I mean felt bad about being recast and also felt bad that that the audience would have to deal with a different voice because of stuff beyond their control, you know what I mean? But yeah, Anderson Anderson's a character that's near and dear to my heart. And yeah, yeah, they they wrote that <laughs> Yeah, uh, Mr. Timmy G, I have been a lamp. I love lamp. Let's see, I forget. Are there roops to be found in the supply shed? Let's find out. Because if I can just get six more roops here... And the answer is yes, but not enough of them. <laughs> yeah, I should just duck into Blind's hut. It's... Oh! Whoopsie doodle. Yeah, there's always roops in Blind's hut. There's always money in the banana stand. Um, you know, I've tried to pull painting, and it didn't... And it didn't do anything. Uh, but yeah, uh, Mr. Timmy G, I have not had a chance to watch hardly any of the GDQ stuff. I have had such a busy weekend. Partial refund! See what we got in the library. Ooh, we've got hammer. Hammer is boots locked in the library. See what race games got for us here. Gonna gamble on a race game. What do you got? What do you got? Lady Catherine, welcome to the land of the blind. And we got mirror. Good stuff. Thank you for the sub, Lady Catherine ZSJ. Haha. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, Phoenix has no humidity. It is the godforsaken desert. You got a sword! Here we go. Uh, it's not, it's not quite full basic bitch, uh, cause it is, it is Unky, Unky random item, he just gave us a valentine. Can I get the heart? Can I get the heart? Yes! Got the heart. Hey, now we're talking. Oh man, Rupa Dupes. Uh, with Light Source and Sword, do we have Backside Escape? We might. We might. It depends on how the key logic shakes out. If the small key is in backside, then we can't get to backside without it. At least not without gloves to drop down from above. Still, that's feeling like a good way to go. We've got, what, three three checks in, in bottom of escape? Oop, haha. Plus three in backside, that's that's a pretty good concentration of checks. So yeah, let's head in that direction. But let's also do a map check. Okay, red crystal and eastern, normal crystals elsewhere. Captain Crunch's oops all crystals. So that being said, I'm gonna try to avoid eastern until I have that bow. If it had been a pendant, then it might not have been a terrible idea to do Sage's Closet potentially into an eastern dip, but... Without that, yeah, let's go ahead and do escape right now. You got some keys! Okay, well that... That should get us to backside then. Didn't quite... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That was no bueno. Oh, well. Ooh, I gotta remember I can mirror back to entrance before heading into the... into the dark portion of escape. I do not have to hoof it back. Got a thing. Wow, wow. Let's see. 
Yeah, I think Sage's Closet is still gonna be the play after this if none of these four checks get me anything. Oop, what am I doing? What am I doing? This is the way I want to go. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. It's 20 bucks! So yeah, really just two more checks, because one of them's going to be the map, which I don't think we've gotten yet. Still. Oh, what? That Bam didn't kill rats? Rats are immune to explosions? What? All right, well, that was a bit of a bust. To the east we go, then! Take it easy, Lady Catherine. Let's see. Man, no progression towards DW access yet. Let's see where Green Pendant is. Green Pendant is an ice palace. Shovel? Do you want to do a fetch quest? And the answer is... Not right now. So with potentially three items in Eastern, even without the bow, an Eastern dip is looking like the proper play. So really, it's it's that shovel, Agina, and Zora. Gloves! Now we're talking. So that'll get us Death Mountain access. Not much we can do up there. Actually, no, 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 no. We can, we can. That, um... Oops. No hook shot. Gotta go the long way around. Hey, <laughs> hey. That's right, because I've got Mirror, so that will get us to Tower of Hera, which should be clearable. So yeah, that's, no, that's real good. That's real good. Feeny says this boy's a dragon. He looks like a baby Triceratops to me. Map, all right. Unique item and some cash in Western Wing of Swamp. Okay.
Yeah, Icarus they called him in the um in the dub. Yeah, I remember that boy. Does look a little bit like him. Uh, KRFSM was saying, looks a bit like Gohan's dragon in Christmas Tree of Might. That's that's the Icarus to whom I'm referring. There's the big key. Whoop, yoink. Okay, I think that's two of our three. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, let's save and quit out and head up the mountain. That should be two of our three chest checks in Eastern. So, burp, 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 sanctuary. Kiosis. Just one kiosis. There we go, there we go. Yeah, if somebody... If we have another another volunteer to jump on uh, on Tracker, sounds like Zelaspars is having some trouble. Thank you for, for taking it, taking us this far, Zelaspars. I appreciate it. Uh, Sonorous Strings, there is a link and a password in the subs and mods chat. It's a very secure password. Extremely secure. We're all about cybersecurity here. Uh, I think you can do it on mobile, although if you're also watching on mobile... It has been a while since I could catch another live stream in suddenly 10 months. Thank you, Terrace 86 for the 10 months of support. Uh, no, we're, we, uh, we're good on tracker. We haven't gotten anything, anything major. And yeah, thank you. Thank you to Figment for getting on that. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, I do have a bottle. Also, yeah, that other glove is up there. Loverly. Grab our big 20 first. The boots is held with the fishes. Helpful hentile. Boots with the fishes. Now, that can mean either... Zora or Catfish. But that is a compelling reason to go to Zora sooner rather than later. We're already up here, so we'll We'll try and tackle uh Try and tackle the tower first. But that's a pretty obvious next stop. Bunny, bunny. Oh my god, I'm a duck! I'm a duck! Or a goose? I don't know. You got a thing.
All right, let's see here. It's a small key. Yeah, I could bam jump, but without without boots to bonk back over. I don't think it actually saves me any more time over just doing this the vanilla way. And it's just a compass anyway. Which I think, I don't think I've gotten any actual item-ass items yet. So I think the two items in here are on the boss and then in the basement. And we're doing some vanilla ass fighty sword moldy strats. Oh boy! Oh, trolled him! Trolled. Ooh. All right. Oh, he's a speedy boy. Oh, but not too speedy for me. Ha <laughs> ha. Ooh, we got a Naboo. So Dark Raiden, if you're holding out your sword and pushing against him, he cannot knock you off the ledge. But you have to be pushing directly a uh, shit. I did forget the basement, KRFSM. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. <laughs> you tried to help me. Yep, womp womp. All right. Well, let's go see if we can grab them boots. Here's the thing, if these are the... If these are the boots, like we're hoping they are, then we can go get hammer and then we'll be heading back up that way anyway let's get some witches kisses we'll be heading back up that way anyway oh <laughs> was about to was about to replace that b but no nah son i need all them 500 groups but yeah once we have the hammer then we can Hit up East Side Death Mountain, and yeah, that might be, might be the wise course of action anyway. Ooh, Red Cane on Zora Ledge. Yeah, true enough, Mr. Timmy G. Since we did just save and quit, can always do that hard reset if necessary. 
What you got for us, bud? Boots! Beautiful. All right. Now, before we do that, Desert is definitely full clearable. Uh, we cannot get to Red Cane. We do need flippers for that. Unless you know how to water walk, which I don't. Not that it does much for me until the Ganon room, because hard mode, though. Still, nice to have that checked off the list. Ah, jazz hands! Let's see what's on the ledge. I'll take a green goo. Oh, he gets a little halo. Oh. boy. It's the big key. And the small key. Bonk. Unhelpful hentile. You know, I'm not sure which is faster. Dashing down this way and dashing back, or if it would be... If it would be faster for me to go take the other exit and then walk all the way back so that I can mirror back out. Probably negligible either way. You got a thing! Ooh, almost. Bottle... Uh, no, Achilles Warlord, we haven't found the bug net yet. <laughs> I made a pun. It's not a net gain. It's a bottle gain. I, ga I gained a bottle. You got a bow! Okay, now we're talking. All right, so we can knock out Eastern now. Although, we will have... As soon as we get Dark World access... We'll have everything we need for... For Pod. Plus the mirror to... To get between them quickly. So it might be best to hold off on completing Eastern. See if we can't route that together with Pod. Ah, uh, yes, Hera was a normal ass crystal. Heretic of Mary, thank you kindly for the Prime Sub. Mm -hmm. 
we go. There we go. Bang, 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 God, I need to learn my Lanmo strats. I'm bad at this. Oh my God, why though? Boom! Okay. Didn't die. I would have felt quite embarrassed had I perished in such a fight. Yeah, if I'd had the silvers, I could have tried oh to unicycle God. that shit, but it was not to be. Thank you, Kachon, for the double subble. All right, so we're gonna start here. We'll pick up Shovel Spot on the way to grab that hammer, and then we can head back up the mountain. Hey, Mr. Sword, don't mind if I do. Hmm, that's true. We do have Aga available now. Accurate. You got a thing. Let's see, nothing else to do around here, so let's head back to that mountain. Yeah, quite a few things to check before we worry about Aga, though. We've got we've got East Side Death Mountain to check. One more check in Hera. Uh, we did check what Lumby was. I forget what it was, though. Also, let's do a little Dark World map check while we're here. Red Crystal in... In Turtle, Pendants in Skull and Mire. Yeah, Eastern's clearable. Only one more check there, but still still better to do that before worrying about Aga time. I don't know if I got the right coffee break. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to come down on the right like I want to. We'll see. Ooh. 
Oh, nope, I did it. I was worried about nothing. Whoops. Oh, -ho, Moon Pearl. Nice. Now we're talking. Guys, we're in trouble, and I think we should call DW. Okay, just Bam's up there. Nothing to do. We need to worry about. Your girl. Yeah, actually, if I'd remembered that from the get-go, it wouldn't have made much difference, because I wouldn't have had Hammer. I think it's wheel options. Try that. Oh, wait. Ta -da. Gotta check this stuff before I head on over to the dark side. Although I guess it doesn't matter really which order I do it in. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Biddly, little, little, little. Bombums, errors, ether, and blue mail. Maxing out my mail for this hard mode seed. I suppose I could have gone. Yeah, I suppose I could have gone to turtle and. Oops. And gone that way. Oh, wells. Oh, wells. Not sure if that would actually be faster. It's fine. It's all good. medallion real quick here. All right, ether. So turtle is flip locked. Since we need flippers for cane. Ah, uh, you jerk. I just There we go. There we go. There we go. Just 5 bucks. NBD. Okay. Yeah, Dark Ride End Dragon Feeny is mostly a Mario Maker streamer these days, but. At one point, she was active enough in, in Link to the Past Rando to get her own sprite. Yeah. 
You got a thing. Uh, I do not have a sprite. Although, I should probably just commission some someone to make me a sprite sheet. Because... <laughs> That seems to be the only real barrier to entry is getting somebody to to make the sprite sheet. Uh, the folks who run the rando site are seem pretty happy to to go ahead and add one for whoevs. For science. Here you go. Ten dollar reduce for Binky Blinky Boy. Oh, thank you, Imhotep. Appreciate it. <laughs> Mini sprite? That would be pretty adorable. Hey, noise! We get to release the Quacken! Um, I was not on a 24-hour D&D stream. I was on one that was supposed to be five hours, or uh, two hours, and wound up going like five yesterday. <laughs> uh, ASM arsonist. Welcome to the stream. You got a thing. <laughs> Cone mini bunny sprite. <laughs> I mean, a, a a miniature dachshund sprite would would go quite nicely along with uh, along with Andy's pug sprite. But I mean if I were doing anime character sprites, I think I would I think I would go a gut sprite before Anderson. Like, keep it keep it OG, keep it old school. Ice rod! No ice rod hunt today, Satan! Also, no Agaseed today, so shink noise. Yep. Oh, now with yeah, Agent Forty Seven as the bunny form, that uh, hmm, that'd be pretty all right. Let's see, can't do um, can't do any batter stuff. Three hundred roops. Yeah. 
Yeah, I ultimately decided I like the dead Aga Sprite too, the uh, emote too. But they already have have those on the on the speed gaming network, and I think it's a little I think it's a little cheesy to have to have double double emotes. to duplicate somebody else's emote. It's the big key. Like I mostly I mostly had it cuz at the time I didn't have enough ideas to fill up my own yeah, knowingly duplicate. Obviously. Obviously great minds and all that. Hey, it's five bucks. Uh, Chessboardman, you, you absolutely can uh, add Mario Maker 2 level codes. Although... I think um, I've been been messing around with uh, with warp worlds code queuing solution, and I think I'm gonna try that out the next time I do do a Mario Maker stream. Unfortunately, without the without the bookmark site. The functionality is not quite as robust as it was in Mario Maker 1. But it still seems like a good solution for such things. Zero Wag, I played the fuck out of Mario Maker on Friday. Yesterday I didn't... Yesterday I had a D&D stream. I was about to say I didn't stream at all. Not actually the case. Uh, but yeah, and I'm planning to do some more Mario Maker on Tuesday. I have no illusions that I'll ever be up in the echelons of Mario Maker streamers. Certainly not in terms of skill, but oh it's a game God. that I love that I want to share with y'all. Ooh. Fat finger. Mm -hmm. Got a key. Yep. Oh, it's always so nice not to have to orphan this chest. Even if it's just a compass. Just being able to check that off my mental to-do list. Okay, let's just tank this shit at this point. <laughs> hey! Hunter Buckaroos!
Let's see. Where to next? Um. Let's see. I'm trying to think if it makes sense to do North Side Dark World. I sort of feel like it does. I'm here. And it's a bunch of checks right close together. Nothing big in bumper. Minor, minor. Flip a dips. Nice. Well, that means I can cross around a pod easily. Awesome. Oh, and I can I can go get catfish and then mirror out and grab red cane. Beautiful. Orphaning Chesty, which isn't the greatest, but still. <laughs> Pretty good routing here. It's 50 bucks. Actually, come to think of it, routing in catfish doesn't really help me because we know that that's just... We know that that's just cash. Although I can stop by the witch's hut. You know what, considering how much how much backseating, and I say that in in the very best sense, but considering how much backseating chat does, I, I think it's fair to say we. I think it is. <laughs> it's a team effort. Ooh, I was I was worried for a second, like wait, wait, did I just did I just spend my, my pod cash? But no, I got, I'm good. I got plenty. <laughs> now, actually... I wonder... Mm, I should have left one bottle empty to see what the freebie was. Oh, well. On the other hand, you know what? Fuck it. We just got the mad money. Green goo. So yeah, now I'm wondering, is it actually going to be faster to walk all the way from up here in the dark world? Or would it be faster to, to take the water portal? Well, if I take the water portal, I can check Hobo and an island. So yeah, that's probably going to be going to be the better option. Oh, right. Already talked to that boy. Don't need to go up there. <laughs> Muscle memory.
You got a thing. Yeah, let's take this watery portal here. See what's on island. Just 20. NBD. Let's see what the hobo got for us. Just some arrows. Oh, we didn't lose the MSU pack when we left uh, Hobo that time. Um, I, f I forget what Medallion Turtle was, but I know it was not Quake, so it really doesn't matter. We know that we have access to it. Uh, Achilles Warlord, I have the sub badges planned for a while yet. I won't have to worry about that until... until it's full mirror shield. Full mirror shield butter sword, and then I'll have to figure out what's above that. for all the fun rando runs and the best hitman. Aw, thank you, Dirk91. Thank you kindly. Let's see, already done stuff in there. Yeah, the problem with having any kind of bink emote is that bink looks different every time. Also, ah, I lost a monkey. I lost my monkey. How's it going, Bob? It's twenty bucks. Some bombs and a map, fire locked in misery. Hopefully we don't need to go into misery at all, but if we do. Ooh, come to th No. I was about to say, do I have um What you call it access swamp? And I do, but not to clear. No hook shot yet. It's a key. Oops. Oops, a doodle. Another key. Let's see, I think... 
by that logic. No, I don't. Eh. I need to learn my, my pod key logic better. Glad you could join us, M Park. was reading logic right. That was a key for a key. Oh, well. So, yeah, it would have been better to just skip both those checks and go straight into, straight into backside here. Oh, shit. Dummy. There we go. I haven't, yeah, haven't found the big key yet, so no sense bomb yumping. It's a thing. M Park Assured means Uncle Assured Sword, meaning that Uncle will definitely have a sword for us. There's the big key. Little pizza heart. Little pizza heart. Some red goo. Yeah, exactly, M Park. Honestly, at this point in my in my rando progression, it really only makes a big difference if I'm doing the, the standard start where you have to go through escape. Unless, unless I am very unlucky, I can almost always find a sword in open mode before anything troublesome happens. Jeez, bad turtle room. Bad turtles! No turtle, that's a bad turtle!
All right, man, it has been a day for vanilla loadout boss fights. I mean, I guess I've got blue mail, so it's not full vanilla. But then... Mail doesn't matter if you never get hit. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. The question is... Unless we find progression in Eastern, where do we go to next? I feel like an idiot. I've been, been like, trying to figure my routing out. I've had flute the whole time. Herp and derp. Been, I've been routing as though I haven't had flute. <laughs> Yeah, I hate... Swamp's a rough one to go to when you can't clear it, but... But yeah, Swamp does feel like the play, since we know there's a unique there. There's Chesty. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, anywhere we go is going to be like a dip into a dungeon or a... Uh, that we either can't complete or is a pendant dungeon. Swamp has the highest concentration of checks. And we know that one of them's got to be unique, so... Yeah, that feels like the play. I mean, honestly... Honestly, Ice Palace would not be a terrible play because of all the Hentiles in there, but... But nah, though. <laughs> Oop, didn't mean to do that. I borked it. I borked it all up. That's okay. Yeah, still need Hookshot to clear Swamp. That's still, what, one... Yeah, three checks. Potentially up to three checks. Yeah, that's, that's still feeling like the right play, though. Yeah, if Swamp gives us Hookshot, that would be great. Yeah, we could... We could clear ice. Yeah, it's between swamp and ice, because ice is really four checks when you consider green pendant. We'll, we'll hope that, that swamp is nice to us. We'll hope that swamp is nice to us and gives us that hook shot. Actually, before I do either one, though... Let's go check, uh, let's go check Desert Tab. It's right here. Bye, Just five bucks. Yeah, and 
unfortunately, Swamp is just so time-consuming to enter it. Yeah, Hookshot could be on Ped, I think. Yeah, it could. Hookshot could be. Um, but we need Fire Rod for Skull, so we don't have to worry too much about about Ped until until we find that Fire Rod. Money, money. Shovel is in. Yep, already knew about that. I mean, the thing is, Fire Rod could be in Compass Jest of Turtle, for all we know. That is the trolliest Fire Rod location, but I think it's happened to me at least once. Um, Hookshot can be required for Ice... Depending on... Depending on key logic. But that's logically required. You can still by bypass it with the Ice Palace Bomb. Well, not not with the Ice Palace Bomb Jump, but with... With a Bomb Jump in Ice Palace. As far as I know, in version 31, there's not going to be... Bomb jumps will still be considered glitches. It would be pretty interesting if they added a logic category where they weren't. Just because, like, yes, they are technically glitches, but also, let's get real. If you don't know the Ice Palace bomb jump, what are you even doing with your life? The answer is not speedrunning Link to the Past. <laughs> so, you know, probably something more productive than what I'm doing with my life, but hey, fuck it. <laughs> All right, so that's two of our swamp checks. Oh, that's right, can't go that way. Gotta go get that key vanilla style. Yeah, it's true. I suppose I suppose come to think of it, they do have they do have minor glitches logic like even right now. I don't have to wait until I don't have to wait for for version 31 for that. So, what am I even talking about? Here's the thing, I don't think I'm great at the Ice Palace Bomb Jump either, but I play this game enough that I had to put the time in. It was the least of all possible options. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, weird man. I I would not want them to be necessary for everybody. Just I'm glad they have a setting for that. And I actually I had forgotten that they had a setting for that. But you know what? Now now that I think about it, now that I actually now that I actually think through it, I do like there being things that break logic. I think that's part of the fun. All right, that's the cache, so that last one's the unique. And yeah, that that's true too. A lot of those a lot of those tricks are dependent on having a controller with a good D-pad, which is not always easy to come by. There's a lot of shoddy ass D-pads out there. Like, even that Buffalo controller that I was using, that D-pad got real loosey-goosey real quick. Bug net! Womp womp.
All right, to Ice Palace we shall go. Go ahead and grab that BAM upgrade. Real ass speedrunners don't need it, but I do. <laughs> uh, we could dip Turtle Rock, but... Yeah, dipping Turtle Rock is rough. That's, that's the thing. It might have more than one check. A unique item is in Paradox. Okay, already got that. That's the thing. It could have more than one check, but then it's like, it's one of those, uh, how deep do I want to go? Because if that first check doesn't have Fire Rod, it could still have a key that lets you go deeper. Yeah, it can get to be a whole thing. the big key. Yeah, I suppose come to think of it. Since hookshot, oops, is one of the things that is necessary to beat Ice Palace in logic, my chances of finding hookshot in Ice Palace are slightly lower. Oh well. Could still find Fire Rod, maybe. How's it going, Big Dat Faz? Oh yeah, you're right. Hook can't... Well, no. Hook might be able to be on Ped. It depends on how... Because the, the hookshot locked... The hookshot locked uh, checks in ice are not always required to clear. I don't think. It depends on how the key logic shakes out. Oops. Uh-oh. Whew, okay. Yeah, Ice Palace, Ice Palace key logic gets complicated. It is probably second only to Pod when it comes to weird ass key logic. Exploded. See, okay, and since I don't have hook shot, I do have to bomb this floor. It's a small key. Go. 
Here he comes. Hmm, come to think of it. I should have done the Meyer checks. I should have done the Meyer checks before dipping here. The Meyer area checks. Because that's three checks just right there. Oh, well. Some cash is near your unky. Yep, routing is hard. That's what we're all learning today. Oop. Also, this bomb jump is hard. It's really not. I just ugh, don't practice it very often. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> but I'll feel like a big, sexy galaxy brain boy. If the fire rod winds up being in here. I don't think the hookshot can be back here since we... The hookshot would have logically been required, although... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. No sense busting my brain over it. I'm here. I'm doing it. Yeah, fire rod absolutely could be. in your corners. Three hundred roops. All right. <laughs> yeah, Terrace, I am pretty sure. It's, yeah, it's looking like that was a, a foolish oh mistake to dip God. Ice Palace at that. Time to pay for my own sub. Unlimited math works. Thank you kindly. All right, let's, let's do those Meyer checks. Like, even with the green pendant in hand, makes sense to do those Meyer checks right now. Guess it doesn't matter, that's Quake. All right. Uh, we can clear Meyer, yeah. Now I will go check the green pendant before doing that. Than a Gina? Yeah, I have. Nope. Okay, well, that makes me feel better about the Ice Palace dip. 
Let's go check that. Green Pendy. See what Sasralati Da's got for us. Whoop. Ah. Nope. All right. Well, that doesn't help. Let's go to Skull. Or wait, what am I doing? Yeah, we'll go to Skull. We can we can check Ped while we're there. Um. Yeah, it's, it's hard to say whether Pet is dead. It depends on how Key Logic was in Ice Palace, which somebody more adept at reading Key Logic could probably have told us. But that ain't me. So yeah, might as well just sanity check while we're here. Actually, let's head in this way first, though. Do this front to back. It's the big key. Oh yeah, we have definitely had worse logic than this. We've had the fabled... The fabled Agap Head Seed. And Aga, at least, is definitively dead. Yeah, an Agaped Seed when we vetoed all dungeons, no less. Yeah, or that Sunday race. I mean, that was... That was just my ignorance, but even still. All right, that's one of our two checks. They're still chesty to do. Hmm. You got a key. Yeah, we can dip turtle. Um, trying to think if we've left any more orphans behind. I think I'd probably go Mire before dipping Turtle. We can at least rule out the Firelock stuff there, although one of those was, uh, one of the Firelocks was, uh, Cash, I think, so there's... Yeah, there's actually only one check in Mire. Oh, right, I can't get in here. Derp! Um... Uh... uh, we got Smiths, yeah. Oh, crud. Bonk! Functionally a bonk basically a bonk. Oh! Oh, no, I did make it. Okay, awesome. I thought I bonked again. Yeah, let's just do a sanity check here. Yep, just triple booms. NBD. Yeah, let's go get chesty. Not sure whether this is actually faster going this way, but eh, fuck it. Yeah, 
you can do more than one check in fire in turtle without fire rod. It just depends on how the key logic shakes out. In fact, it's impossible to know how many checks you can do in turtle without fire rod. Let's see, still got nothing to check batter with. That puts that puts Spike Cafe in logic. I'm gonna go ahead and Spike Cafe might have been in logic anyway. I always forget if it takes uh, if it takes bottles into account. Spin speed! Man, I used to get salty when I saw people do spin speed. Like, that's not fair! I don't know how to do that! You're cheating! You suck! <laughs> Just mildly salty. Just mildly. Shots to hook shot on torches, even. All right, I think we're dipping into turtle. I think that's the play at this point. Right, can't go that way. Derp, da derp, derp, derp. Derp, derp, I don't have the hook shot. My muscle memory made we want to go to the east, but I must go north and use the mirror. Money, money. Hello. Well, oh, I had full hearts anyway. Derp. Uh, already checked Hera Tablet. Didn't have Mr. Sword at the time, so I couldn't collect it, but I checked it. it was Couch Cash, I think it said. Item is in a. Uh, yep, already did that. The thing is, if Hook is in a pendant dungeon, all right, we're going deeper. If Hook is in a pendant dungeon, the only one we haven't checked yet is Mire. 
And we know from a hentile that one of the two checks in Mire is cash, so that would be a pretty low percentage play at this point. Then again, we've already done all the high percentage plays, so what the fuck? Whee! Ha ha! And I got my ass kicked in poker on Friday, by the way. I am rusty. I am rusty as fuck. I need to play more poker! Oh, right. Gotta murder this boy. Derp, 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 derp. All my muscle memory is all fucked up. I'm used to used to pulling out fire rod at this point, but I don't gots it. I don't gots that rod. Another key. Uh, or in Bloodstone, we're gonna play some crowd control on the Fourth of July. That's my plan. We're going to celebrate our independence from ice physics or something. Uh, Nova Blaze, I'm thinking normal time, 9 a.m. Pacific. I'm not married to that, though. Yeah, so we haven't seen... We don't have the big key yet. I forget how far we can get without it. We can check Mimic Cave, though. Moida! 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 Nope! So yeah, I forget if the next... I never pay attention to... Yeah, I, I think you're right, Mr. Timmy G. I'm going to check anyway, but I'm fairly sure you're right. I'm fairly sure this next... Making sure I'm not missing anything. I'm pretty sure this is a big key door. But they look, yeah, okay. They look so similar in, in Turtle Rock. Well, shit. Meyer? Meyer, anyone? Probably should have just mirrored there, but oh well. Man. Yeah, I can't think of any overworld checks we've missed. Yeah, yeah, man. No all dungeons, no weird variations. I was thinking maybe it maybe sub two hour today, you know, imagine maybe Nope. Fuck you though. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, I did check the one hookshot cave that you can bonk to. Hookshot cave chest. Yeah, good thought, good thought, but I did already check that one.
Uh, we checked Sky Island. It was just a triple bam. It's the big key! Fire Rod! It is the motherfucking Fire Rod! Let's peace out and let's, and let's go back to Turtle. Ah, I can't even, I can't even, I can't even sing my praises of the Fire Rod because I'm so flustered by this seed. <laughs> Yeah, we can go ahead and check off the other Meyer mark. We know it's just cash. Uh, Turtle could have Hook. There is also one more... One more Skull Woods check that could conceivably be Hook. Fuck! Can't go that way. Damn you, muscle memory. Second time I've done that. Ah! That's okay. Ah! Oh, why did I do that? I had spin speed still. Herp a derp. Nova Blaze, thank you for the gift sub to Antiquated Anachronism. Alert Box is taking its sweet ass time about calling that out, but I seen it. I seen it. I got them eagle eyes. You know, I think I might not have I might not have Alert Box set up to alert for for community gift subs less than five. That might be the problem. I'll have to look into that. Bow, bow, bow. Okay, don't have the hook shot. Don't have the hook shot. Gotta go the long way. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I gotta say these things to me out loud. Yeah, because I've got it set to... If you specifically gift to one person, it definitely alerts. But I think that might not... That might not count as a sub-bomb for... For alert box purposes. Shot and a bigger key, yes, please, guys. I do believe that is the go modes. Uh, if I can just find, oh boy, can't find my dumb go mode button. Speaking of dumb. What if I didn't slash at the zappy boy? What if that, though? Okay, where's my go mode button? There it is! Go mode, go mode, go! Yeah, 
Yeah, it's unfortunate we gotta go back down to Swamp and then then climb the mountain yet again, but Celery. Oh right. Also, potions only heal so much. Oh right. Also. If my aim wasn't the worst, I could use that. Oh, I should... Actually, no. Don't need to check that big chest. Because we already go-moded. Yeah, we might still need a small key from Lazy Bridge. Depending on what's in this chest right here. So we, we will have to check Lazy Bridge for that last key. That's okay, though. Boop. Oh, shit. You're right. You're right. Yeah, the small key could have been in the big chest. You're right. Oops. Crap. Forgot about that. Well, we'll find out, won't we? So, can't use the safety door here. Okay. Because, yeah. If I'd... If I'd used the safety door, if I'd needed to, I could have mirrored out to right before the... Oh, no, I couldn't even have. That would have taken me all the way to that. Yeah. All right. Well, whatever, whatever. It, it all worked out. That's the important thing. Yeah, I always forget that even in go mode, you cannot feel safe. Cannot feel safe skipping that big chest. Unless you've gotten some mad early keys. Too slow. Nail gun. Sadie Blackthorn, thanks for the nail gun. Bang, 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 bang. Who any box? Nail gun. And a fugitive from reality, thank you as well. Thank you kindly. Okay, back down to swamp. And then we can knock this shit out. Actually, let's go fill up on goo. I'm not cracking two hours. Fuck it. Fuck it. Is that all my goo? That's right. Quad goo! Bang, bang, bang. Wee. 
We never did do the pyramid check either. Oops. Yeah. We we didn't do Fat Fairy, and yeah, no reason to. There's there's not much left in the pool that can help us. Um, but yeah, never did pyramid check. That was a check that we orphaned that we could have checked a long time ago. Ha <laughs> ha! It's because I usually check it along with Catfish and went a different way. Oh, well. C'est la vie. I'm going to be right back. No personal bourbon today. It's not looking like a personal, like a PB personal bourbon kind of day. So I'm going to enjoy some personal mead. It is almost 5 p.m. P.m. Personal mead. I like it. Let's do it. Mmm. Shit, that's good. So bueno. Elias Moon, I love mead. It's it's honey wine, that's all it is. In this case, it's black cherry flavored honey wine. Good shit. Never, yeah, never did get that big key. Yeah, picked this up on a day trip to Flagstaff with uh, Zella Sparza last weekend. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of iffy mead out there. Like what you find at a lot of liquor stores is a brand called Chaucer's. Chaucer's is not good mead, but it's it's you don't often have a good. Oh, I don't need to go that way. You, there's not often a whole lot of uh, of selection when it comes to mead. But there is a meadery in Flagstaff called Drinking Horn Meadery, and they make us a good shit. We we did a little private tasting. Uh, had a flight of 10 different little sampler sized like shot glasses full of mead added up to like three full glasses so that you had you had a nice little buzz going by the time you were done with your little sampler sampler platter and I took a bu couple bottles home and apparently they sell them in Whole Foods throughout Arizona so I'm gonna need to gonna need to pick up some more because this is my last glass from that from that trip <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I should. I should pick up a bottle of the, of the normal, the the basic flavor with no with no added anything, cause. Cause Tom was telling me, that he has never really tried mead. And if it's your first try of mead, you want to start with the with the normal straight ahead stuff. Just to get a sense for what you're even doing. By the way, guys, that is the final crystal. That is the final crystal. So if you have bets for the location 
of the GT Big Key. Let's open up those bets, shall we? There we go. Get your bets in. Get them bets in. It's time. Oh, you jerk. <laughs> ah. Money, money. Actually, on hard mode, I'm... I'm only short a couple of heart containers for everything that could possibly help me at this point. No half magic in the pool, I've got the max armor, and uh, I guess a, a fire shield helps a little, but whatevs. All right. Once I go through these doors, bets are closed. And bets are closed. Beep, 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 boop. Number one. Number two. Number three, number four, number five, ooh, and a fill up. Number six, six was the correct answer. Let's go. Yeah, I have no idea what the command is to, uh, <laughs> to declare a bet winner. I was about to go to the safety room, but I've got four full bottles. Let's, uh, let's not get crazy. He says, <laughs> about to use the first of his four bottles. If this gauntlet doesn't start picking up. Ah, fucker. Whee!
If I can just get through Lanmo without having to burn a bottle. Oh, that'll... Then I can afford to burn some more fire rod shots, which would be nice. Of course, blues only fill up half my magic in this mode, so... Fuck it. Also, you wouldn't think adding this little piddly pea shooter into the mix would make such a difference, but boy, it does. On a boss, I'm already real bad at. Did we ever get the uh, Did we ever get the bot to to register the bet winner? Because I do know where we can look. Oh, man, that was terrible. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm sucking. We did. Okay, good, good. Oh, no one? Ah, uh, womp womp. Whoop. So fuck it, let's just go on through. Bloop, 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 bloop. Uh, that's right, no uh no powder for those boys. That's okay. Let's go fight a troll dorm. I've been trolled! I had to pay the troll toll! Thought I had him. It was all cocky and shit. Oh my god! Woo. There we go. Captain Shrike, thank you for the Octo sub. Thank you kindly. We'll validate the run. Whee! Oh, it feels so good when I get the good dash in that room. Guys, let's kill a wizard. Okay, I think that counted as a double. That counted as a fat Zippos. Zilcharuni. All right, that's one. Oh my God. Ah, come bad at this. Ah. Jeez. There we go. Bonk. 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 <laughs> yeah, it should be good. Got some place to be in an hour, but I should have plenty of time to grab a bite to eat. Get it going, all that stuff. Mm. 
But first... Safety, ladies! You know what? Yeah, let's check Pyramid. Why not? Pizza Heart. <laughs> All right, that's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. I forget when we found silvers. It felt like it was pretty early. And get wrecked! And I think it was in a Gina. Sounds right. All right, didn't didn't crack two hours, but you know what? For for double dipping turtle and dipping every pendant dungeon at least once, that's actually not a terrible time. <laughs> Got him. I mean, nowhere near a Peebers, obviously, but I'm at that point where it it. It takes some doing to get a Peebers. Especially on open normal with a Peebs of 134. Like, that's, that's a good time. That's a good time. I like that time. I feel good about that time. All right, guys. Let's roll some creds of our own. And then, then we'll do a vote and we'll get wheel. Thank you to Imhotep for the donation. Thank you to Heretic Ameri, a fugitive from reality, Achilles Warlord, and Sadie Blackthorn for the bits. Thank you to ASM Arsonist and Ziff Pendragon. Welcome. Thanks for the follows. And Zealous Bars, a Zero Wag, Spazwaza, Lighthawk Knight, Lady Catherine, Terrace, Heretic Ameri, Kachon, Regius Aquila, Dirk91, Unlimited Mathworks, Antiquated Anachronism, and Captain Shrike. Thank you for the subs and resubs. Uh, Master Blaster Guy, plans would be overstating it. If the if the word of mouth is good, I might try out the new Trials of Mana, because Seiken Dead Setsu 3 is a game that I've started many times, I've never finished, and honestly, after dipping my toe into the Secret of Mana, into the Mana Collection on Switch, I'm sort of hoping that the remake, like, modernizes it a little bit and is maybe better than that Secret of Mana remake, which was kind of not great. So I'll give it a try, but I am definitely not committing to a full playthrough sight unseen. In fact, just as a general blanket statement, don't expect me to ever commit to a full playthrough of anything on this channel unless it's something that I've played through at least once before and know what I'm getting into. <laughs> I mean, geez, I still haven't... So one of my goals for... So J July is all Mario Maker all the time. Uh, 
I want to I want to set a goal for August, which is to complete one of the many things that I have started on this channel and then just kind of let drop by the wayside like Dragon Quest 11 say or Salty Metroid say or I don't know. We made a list the other day and I need to look back through it. <laughs> uh, Mother 3. Yep, that was another one. I would like to get further in Mother 3 because that that game seems real cool. All right, but in the meantime, let's uh, let's have ourselves a little poll here. Let me pull up my pull up my poly notes, my poly doodles, and let's see what the folks at home want to veto. Keeping in mind, you cannot veto retro nor all dungeons. I'm gonna go ahead and re and veto swordless. Chrono Trigger randomized. Yep, that is another one that I would like to get back to. See, it's easier to start things than to finish things. This is what we've learned here today. <laughs> All right, so y'all can veto Enemizer. You can veto Boss Shuffle. You can veto Key Sanity, Inverted, or Basic Bitch. You can veto Standard Start or Open Start. You can veto the Kill Pig goal or the All Dungeons goal. You can veto Unky Sword or... Oh, wait, you can't veto all dungeons. What am I talking about? Remove that. <laughs> all right. Yeah, you can veto uh, Unky Rando. You can veto... Can't veto Swordless, because I just vetoed it. But you can veto Normal Mode or Hard Mode. Start in the poll. And eventually... It might show up. Excuse me. Mr. Pole Deedly. There it goes. All right. There we go. Whoa. Okay. There it goes. There it goes. Hee <laughs> hee. All right. Looks like Inverted is taking the lead. Hard mode coming up in number two. But we shall see what we see when we see it as I sip my personal mead, which is so good. Oh, so good. All right. Looks like inverted might have it, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 10 count. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one. Finishing that poll, Inverted takes the audience veto. Marking that down. We have vetoed Swordless. We have vetoed Inverted. But there is still a slim chance that just about anything could happen. Let me just get my wheel settings up and it'll be time to get wheel. All right, so variation-wise, could have Enemizer, could have Boss Shuffle, could have Retro, or Key Sanity. Let's see, could we have Inverted? Inverted does have one weight behind it, so... The veto removes all the extra weight and reverts it to its default of one. And of course, it could be basic, bitch. All right, let me see. Let me get these weights going. So, Animizer is sitting pretty at weight. Ooh, Animizer getting way up there again. Let's see. Boss Shuffle is up there. Retro, retro, retro. Retro's got a few weights behind it. Uh, Key Sanity's just got one extra weight behind it. Inverted, because of the veto, is down to weight one. And Basic... Yeah, Basic has no extra weight behind it. Saving those settings, popping up the wheel. There we go. Okay, so... It's the the <laughs> of those of those hard to read wedges. Q 
key sanity is the one that's larger than the other two, the one next to it is inverted, and the one next to Enemizer is basic. Spin it to win it! I don't think it's that RNGesus. Wow! Okay! Key sanity it is! Key sanity it is. Look at that. That wee little wedge. That wee little wedgie poo. Key sanity it is. All right. I think the command is wheel clear. I thought it was. Maybe it's clear wheel. Hold on. Okay, yeah, I think it was wheel clear. It just doesn't doesn't give you a confirmation message when you do it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. Next up are Opening state, it could be open mode, or it could be standard mode. Neither one has any particular weight behind it, so it'll just be a straight coin flip, 50-50. All right. Spin it to win it. Okay, it will be a standard start. Standard start. All right, let's see what our goal will be. Our goal could be... Oops, hold on. Our goal could be to kill a pig, or it could be all dungeons. And it looks like they both have equal weight behind them. So it'll be a straight coin flip. Spin it to win it. Okay, it's going to be a kill pig. A kill pig goal. All right. Now then, our Unky. Let's see. Could be an Unky Sword Assured. It could be an Unky Random Weapon. Or it could, even with the Veto, it could still be Swordless. Let's see. Unky Assured Sword. Oh, yeah. Wheel Clear. Kill Pig. There we go. Oops. There we go. All right. So, uh, no extra weight behind Unky Sword. A little extra weight behind Rando. A little extra weight behind Swordlet. Oh, wait, but that extra weight gets vetoed. So let's set that up. Okay, there we go. Spin it to win it. Okay, it will be an Uncle Assured Sword. Seed. And then finally, Moment of Truth. Yeah, it was very close, very close to hitting Swordless. All right, Moment of Truth. Normal mode has one extra weight. Hard mode has no extra weight. Boop. Spin it to win it. But it will be a hard mode seed. It will be a key sanity, standard start, kill pig, uncle assured sword, hard mode seed. Let's just do a... A wheel clear. 
hard. There we go. And let me get into, let's see, let me clear my, clear my go mode here. And just change it from basic bitch hard to key sanity hard. Oops. Yeah, good enough. All right. And just get into my item tracker while I'm thinking of it here. Let me just set that up for take the chests off, put the keys on while I'm thinking of it. There we go. We'll reset the room while I'm at it. All right. Oh, that meat is delicious. I love it. Guys, thank you for tuning in. I had fun. I hope you did too. Let's uh let's kick it over to the schedule screen here. And just see what's coming up. Uh so tomorrow I'm driving down to Tucson. I'm going to visit my mom. My my uncle Chuck just passed away of leukemia and she's she was closer to him than I was, so Gonna, gonna visit mom, gonna record some bat rankings. I will be back on Tuesday for some Mario Maker. We're gonna try some Warp World multi queue to get some viewer levels in there in a slightly more organized way. Now that people have had, you know, the weekend to play with it and, and figure out what to do with it. On Wednesday, as always, we're gonna have some Ben Time stories featuring AJK. I've ordered some, I've ordered a mixing board to get the audio because it's been, it's been coming through a, um, oh, what are the stupid things called? The baby's first microphone. I don't know. It's been coming through like a room audio mic, which does not sound great. So yeah. Um, and yeah, so it's, we should have some better audio. Blue Yeti. That's the one. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking of to figment. Yeah. I've been piping the stream audio through a Blue Yeti, and people were pointing out, yeah, I'm getting some echo, I'm getting room audio, it does not sound great. And they're right. So, yeah, we're we're gonna try and upgrade our audio quality there a little bit. Uh, on... Oh, here, I'm talking to you guys. I can pop up on my webcam there. You don't have to look at... Yeah, well, Blue Yeti is... F like, what I'm using to stream right now is a... is a Samson CO1U which is basically a Blue Yeti before Blue Yeti was a thing. I've had it for, geez, many, many years now. And it's fine as long as it's right up next to your fucking mouth like this. Uh, but when you're trying to capture the whole room, I mean, there is no mic that's going to make that sound good. That is just a bad deedly. Uh, Yeah, there, there is nothing wrong with a Blue Yeti. At all. Unless you're trying to do serious voice acting on it. Which I'm not. <laughs> Kuki, did you notice that I got out of that ice dip after about 20 seconds? That's about how that was. <laughs> and then I felt ashamed of myself, so I tried again. <laughs> and made it about 20 seconds the next time, too. But, yeah. So, yep, that's what's... Uh, yeah, nothing wrong with a Samson CO1U either. It's not quite as versatile as a Blue Yeti, um, but it's about the same quality and about the same price. And I've had mine since before Blue Yeti was a thing. <laughs> that's how long I've had my Samson CO1U. Uh, so anyway, that's Wednesday. Thursday at around 9 a.m. normal time PDT, we're going to be doing some Independence Day crowd control dumbness. Just because it's been a while since I've done a crowd control stream. And they're fun, and I enjoy them. Uh, Friday, we'll do some social games. I, I enjoyed that. Uh, not last Friday, but the Friday before, I think, was the last time we did them. Um, I don't know. Whenever it was. I, I like getting, getting folks in for more social time, so we'll do that. 3 p.m. Also trying to switch up my streaming times a little more, hitting the afternoon sometimes, the morning sometimes. You know, get get out there for people who might not be able to tune in in the morning. And then, of course, on the 23rd, that's my randoversary. 
and we're gonna do a backseat extravaganza in which you at home, it's gonna be an entrance randomizer seed in which you at home get access to my spoiler log so you can backseat my ass all you want. And I'm gonna need all the help I can get cause fuck entrance rando though. Guys, final order of business. I'm gonna pull open the old Twitch and see who might appreciate a raid. Let's see, Space Cat's going, uh, Codeman's going. They're doing a, he's doing a Plando right now. Uh, Shea Relay is going, regular over here. She does not often, she does not often stream at such a time as to catch a raid from me. So let's let's raid Shay Relay. I don't think I've had a chance to to raid her ever. Blow! Raiding Shay Relay. I'm gonna go see my friends. A friend of mine is having a a premiere of her short film at a little local film festival. And geez, I gotta get on the road if I'm gonna make it to that. Take it easy, you guys. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye-bye.